pinfish family. I figured uh, I would show you real quick how I paint the uh, backs and the bottoms of the tank. Um, simple, several ways you could do it. I spray painted several of the first ones and now I'm just, uh, I've been painting on with a brush the past uh, seven or eight tanks I've done. I've just painted it on like this. So I figured I'd show you guys that process. show you real quick how I installed the bulkheads. First you gotta twist these off. I guess I could have had this already done. And there should be a rubber gasket. These are the ones from Jimco. And uh, it has a ru one rubber gasket that's loose. And then the screw knob here has like a softer rubber gasket that's attached. So you gotta keep twisting and pull it off. All right, so again, the rubber gasket stays on the, it will go to the inside of the tank. Start here with this middle one. Slide in. We got to put this back on. And the way I have these measured, again, is uh, the water should stay right about the level of this the bottom of the black trim. I like my tanks to look completely full. Get it hand tight. Alright, and then grab my pliers. And this part you got to be, just take your time. This is glass, so you don't want to tighten it down until you can't turn it no more. You just you want to get that rubber gasket that's on the inside pressed against the glass real tight, and you'll start seeing it bulge out just a little bit. But I actually, I've done so many now that I can get the feel of like just about how tight it needs to be. It needs to be tighter than hand tight, but not super tight. I just fill it out. Maybe just a turn bit more. That right there should be good. Alright, so I'll go through the other three real quick. I'll let you watch that. It's probably going to fast forward it, so I'll catch you at the end of this. that's about it Let's see I'll zoom you back out and, uh, show you guys from the bottom side again these are strainers right here that actually just come out they slide on so that's the actual overflow and it, it's it's pretty much at the same level as this right here but this will just keep plants and smaller fish from going through. 
tightening. Again, if you're wondering, there's these are tanks I pulled off the metal rack that still got the um, aragonite substrate in the bottom. I just washed, took them to the bathtub, washed them out real good with the, the shower head, drilled the bulkhead in the bathtubs, and uh, sprayed it out again. It's still got the green algae on the sides of the tank. I'm not really worried about that at all. Um, so that's that. Um, it takes. I've shown in previous videos, I'll uh, post a link to that in the comments and also that video on how I drill my bulkheads will be at, uh, in my fish room rebuild playlist section. So be sure to check that out if you hadn't and I'm um, pretty happy with it. I broke two tanks in the process of drilling tanks so far due to tempered glass. One was a 29 and uh, one was a 10 gallon tank. <clears throat> Excuse me, which I was really surprised the 10 gallon tanks were tempered glass. I just didn't think they would have been, but uh, they were. Uh, so, uh, from the research I've done, these really need to be checked to, uh, for tempered glass. Uh, so I will do that. I'm not, I may try to record how I do that, but um, there's other videos, lots of videos on YouTube and online on how to check if glass is tempered. And then there's an actual tester you can buy, but they're several hundred dollars. So I'm just not going to go that route. Anyway guys, going to get back to getting this going. Talk to you later.